Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. Can electric power be transmitted without wire? The answer for the question is yes, it can be done. In this video, I will demonstrate how to transmit electric power wirelessly. Here I have a coil of enameled copper wire. To this, I have connected a resistor and a transistor. Now, I am going to pass a current through this coil. For that, I make use of a 9 volt battery. Connect this. Now, current is passing through this coil. Now, I will bring another coil to which I have connected an LED. You can see this LED do not emit light. When I bring it close to this coil, go to here carefully what happened. You can observe as I bring it close, the LED glows. We have kept very close or within this first coil, it has started glowing bright. Now, I will bring another coil which is little larger than the first one. It is connected to an LED of same kind, but here number of turns are more compared to the first one. Let's see what happened to this. Now, what is kept here? No, the LED doesn't glow. When I bring it near, slowly it starts glowing. And as I'm getting close to the first coil, the brightness increases and becomes maximum when this two coil touches. This is how electric power can be transmitted wirelessly. We call this phenomena as mutual inductance. In a mutual induction, we pass current through one coil that produces induced EMF in the neighboring coil. Here, let me tell you what is the use of, what is the role of the transistor in the first coil. Suppose if I pass direct current, then this phenomena will not occur. But in my case, I am passing direct current only with the help of this battery. But still, mutual induction takes place. The reason is the presence of this transistor. This transistor produces varying magnetic field. When I pass current, it, this coil produces magnetic field. But that magnetic field is a continuous magnetic field. When I use a transistor, the magnetic field goes on and off continuously. It varies. That varying magnetic field induces an EMF in the neighboring coil. We call this uh, EMF as induced EMF and uh, the phenomena is referred as mutual induction. Now I replace uh, this battery with a power supply. This is uh, a regulated power supply made by me. It can able to give 9 volt DC current. <coughs> I place this coil inside this box. Now I remove this battery connector. I remove the battery connector and I connect this 
to this two leads the positive terminal is connected to yellow wire I twist it and the negative terminal is connected to the green wire of the coil now the connection is done Here, this one is a regulated power supply. It can give 9 volt DC current. A regulated power supply is one which gives out voltage of same value without any change, without any fluctuation. Now I connect this to the power supply. We pass current through it. Now I switch. I switch it on. Is it turned on? I'll show you the voltage produced by this with the help of a voltmeter. This multimeter is set to read the voltage. I place it here. Look here. Our multimeter reads nine volt. Now, even after some time, you can see it remains same. It do not change. This kind of power supply, which you the constant. Output voltage is referred as regulated power supply. Okay, now the connection is done. What I do? I close this box. Close this box. Now I bring this coil, which is connected to an LED. Now I place it on the box. You can see. This LED glues. Now I'll bring up one more coil. A small coil which is connected to the LED as well. Now I'll place it here on this box. You can see it also glue. Though there is a gap between the first coil and the second coil still the LED glows. It is due to mutual interference. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.